What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can tell from the title, I'm going to see if I can get this car fired up today. I got new injectors last night. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put the injectors in and see if we can get this car running. I've got my fingers crossed like I said in the previous video and I hope you guys have your fingers crossed for me as well. Let's see if we can get this car fired up and back on the road. I'm going to jump right in, put myself on another shirt and then we'll put the injectors in. So as you guys saw, I couldn't get the car started and apparently the previous guy had the same issues. He told me about it, that he was struggling to start his car, but I spoke to another friend and apparently they think it's something map related. So I'm going to, to change the map now. Pretty soon I'm going to try a different file and then let's see if we can get it started. They said I must use quick start, but I don't have quick start on me right now. So if all else fails, I'll quickly drive and go and get some quick start. And I'm hoping it's just a file issue. So I'm currently busy with a new flash again. I can't remember how much I showed you guys previously because I had a dentist appointment. So I was kind of rushed to get a couple of things done before the dentist appointment. But now I can't remember how much exactly I filmed. But I managed to start the car up. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys the start up. But I got some quick start and I managed to start the car up with quick start. I hope you guys can hear me just fine. Um, I'm not too sure how loud this car is and it's quite dark in here but as you can see the car is finally idling by itself so at least we're making some progress well it did idle by itself uh, I don't think it starts up by itself just when I started it now I didn't want to start by itself so let's see yep still not starting by itself this is it guys I feel like I've been here a million times before um, 
My newly bought injectors isn't working so I'm just getting ready to take them out now. I'll catch you guys in a second and then I'll tell you guys exactly what's the problem and what's the plan going forward once again. Just to clarify a couple of things with you guys before I end of today's video. Uh, the injectors, I could not get the car to start up by itself. I tried about five or six different files on the car and for some reason the car would not start up by itself. Now the previous owner, I believe I mentioned it in the video, the previous owner had the same issue but they never changed the file on the car or he told me he never changed the file on the car. So I was thinking that that's why he could not get them started up because he never changed the file in his car. But it turns out that that was not the issue. So I still can't get the car to start up by itself. And I already spoke to the guys who I went to say who built the injectors for the guy who I bought them from. And they said that I can send them back to them. They are in Durban. So I'm going to send them in tomorrow morning. First thing tomorrow is Monday. Uh, I believe it would be the same day as you guys are watching this because I'm going to upload this video straight now. So then I'm going to send the injectors back in tomorrow morning and hopefully get them to test it or get an answer from them as to why I can't get the car to start up by itself. I believe it's something small because we managed to iron out everything else. So the car, if I, if I started with quick start, I can get the car to idle by itself, I can get the car to rev up fine, I just can't get the car to start up by itself, so I believe it's something small, hopefully I can get this sorted out, I did a quick calculation on Friday I believe, how much I've spent on injectors on that car and to be honest in the past 4 years it's, it equates to about 40,000 rand that I've spent on injectors. Obviously back in the day I paid a lot of school fees because no one was clued up on the race injectors. But the problem is even to this day, it does not seem like the people are clued up with the race injectors. So unless you buy new for like 25 or 30 grand from the oxide. One last thing before I end of today's video, please make sure that you guys do smash the thumbs up button down below. And subscribe to the channel to make sure you stay up to date with the build. Uh, I'm hoping to sell the TIG one quite soon, but the Polo, I want to get that car running. And I want to see if I can, I can run a time with it. That's ultimately the main goal. So make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel. I might just uh, surprise you guys, or not actually surprise you guys, I've been building this car for so long. But I might just get the car up and running and run a time. So please make sure that you guys do subscribe and share it with your friends so they can also jump in on the action. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and reflect your passion.